Hey guys, it's XOXO Kenzie Ray here. So this video is gonna kind of be um different from my usual videos because my usual videos okay, just ignore my hair today. Like I literally have no idea what it's doing. It's more like poofy than usual. I hate when people describe my hair like poofy, but I just did it, so I'm sorry, that was the only way I could describe it. Anyway. This isn't like my normal videos because my normal videos are usually like upbeat and funny. <laughs> but this one is just kind of like a serious topic. Even though I might make it sound funny, it's really not. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a story time about my first lockdown that's ever happened at school. And if you're homeschooled or for whatever reason don't know what a lockdown is, it's when there's an event happening a life-threatening event that's happening in whatever area you're in so your school goes on lockdown a meeting you know shut everything down get the kids in a safe place blah 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 so it's like it's a really real thing and it's not something to joke about i'll get to um i'll get to that in a minute but the first like school shooting that i've ever heard of was in fourth grade where there was, like, that really big school shooting. I don't know if you guys know, but I think it was in, like, Connecticut. My bed isn't made, so. Let's just make it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so, that's just kind of, you know, after that happened, our school started having uh, lockdowns. And we would, or not lockdowns, like real ones, but we would do lockdown drills. And our teachers would be like, okay, guys, we're going to have a lockdown drill today. And they'd be like, okay, get under the desks and be quiet. Turn off all the lights, lock the doors, whatever. Um, you know, stuff like that. So when they told us that it wasn't a drill this time, I was just like, I don't know. It was just a lot. So let me get into the story. Let's go. So, it was a pretty average day, pretty average Friday. This actually happened yesterday. I filmed me telling the story yesterday, but I didn't really like how it turned out. Because, um, I have low storage on my phone, so it just kept cutting off. So, today, uh, I'm telling you guys the story again. And, so on and so forth. So, let me get into it. A normal Friday, just, you know, living my life, doing what I usually do. And... It was like P.E. time. So, P.E. time is at the end of the day. We have like two hours left of school. So, we have like, or like an hour and a half left of school. So, we have an hour and a half of P.E. So, um, we're picking teams for volleyball. So, my friend picks me to be on her team, blah, blah, blah. We all go on one side of the gym. Everyone goes on the other side of the gym to play volleyball. And I see the sixth grade teacher, let's call him Mr. H. So Mr. H says to our um, PE teacher, Mr. O, he's like, hey, um, I've seen like helicopters like surrounding the, surrounding the area. And I was just like, I didn't think anything of it because the last thing that I want to think about on a beautiful uh, Friday is lockdown, I'm going to die. We'll get into that in a minute. So I'm just like, okay, um... I guess, like, I guess nothing's really happening. Helicopters surround the area all the time. Like, all the time. But, you know, that's just normal thoughts. So, then, we're getting ready to play, and I hear, Everybody in Mrs. There's Mr. H and Mrs. H. Everyone, go in Mrs. H's room right now and hurry. And I'm like, what? And they're like, we're having a lockdown, and this is not a drill. And I'm like, what so they cram all the kids in um in the room they lock the door turn off the lights uh we hear the like secretary lady on the like phone intercom thingy she's like okay everyone we're having a lockdown this is not a drill please turn off okay please turn off the lights and uh lock the doors and please get the uh please get the students to safety and i'm like i'm sorry what um, so some kids went under tables because like it was our well we had a lockdown in fourth grade but that was just because there was like a bear in the air bear in the area it was really stupid but anyway this lockdown was like um serious 
not like serious serious where we all could have died. I mean, we probably could have encountered something, but I'll get to it in a minute. Some kids got in closets, other kids got under tables, me and my friends crammed into a corner. Like, okay, so here's how the room is laid out. So it's just like this big room, just like an average classroom. There are two windows right here, and there are desks under the windows. So kids were under the desks, um, up against the wall where the windows were. My teachers were um, sitting beside each door. So there's an exit here and there's an exit here. So Mr. H is sitting here and Mr. O, Mr. O is sitting on the other side. So kids went in the closet and I kept hearing them like move around in the closet so I would hear like a like a bang and like that didn't help my anxiety because I was like they're trying to break in they're trying to break in but really it was just kids you know like moving against the door okay so let's call this kid Yar okay Yar um for the kids that go to my school you're gonna know who Yar is everybody else that watched my videos that obviously doesn't go to my school you're not gonna know who Yar is so Yar is Yar <laughs> He's laying on the ground. He's like the school like funny kid. So he's like laying on the floor and he's just like laying on his back like this. And I'm just like, okay. Like no one is really taking this seriously where stuff like this is very serious and he's just kind of taking it as a joke, which made me really mad, but I'll get to that in a minute. So... Um, the teachers are like, Yar, you have to be under a desk or, like, hiding or something. They're whispering, by the way. So he's just, like, he, he's just, like, totally ignoring everyone. Like, hashtag unbothered. So, um, my friend, Abby, you guys know Abby. Shout out to you, Abby. Love you. Okay, anyway. So, Abby's like, Yar, like, like, don't be in the middle of the floor. Like, what are you doing? He's like, be quiet, Abby. You're gonna get all of us killed. Like, loud AF. And I'm like... I'm sorry, Ma? I already have, like, anxiety and that, all that kind of... All that good stuff. So, him telling... Or him saying that we were gonna get killed was, like, not... Not helping. Not even a little bit. I was already freaking out. I was freaking out when they told us to get in the classroom. And I thought they were just gonna, like, talk to us about whatever... But, like, I was I was already freaking out when I saw the teacher lock the doors. You know how, like... <sighs> so, I'm pressed against the corner. So, so there are desks on this side here. And this is, you know, the main uh, exit. So, there are desks here. There are kids under desks. There are more desks in the middle of the room. So, Abby's under a desk. And she's, like, holding my hand. All my friends are holding hands. Well, like... Yeah, we're holding hands. I'm, like, linking arms with Rachel. Rachel, love you. Okay, anyway. So, I'm linking arms with Rachel, and they're like, it's okay, Mackenzie. Everything's gonna be okay, because they know that I freak out over, like, everything. So, they're like, it's okay, Mackenzie. Like, everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. And I'm like, guys, let's pray. I'm not, like... I'm not a super religious person, I mean, like, I have a religion, but I'm not super religious, where, like, I pray every minute, pray every second, everything is pray, 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 everything is Lord Jesus, like, I'm not like that, but, um, I just felt like in this time, I needed to do something, and I was like, let's pray, so we hold hands, and we pray, we're just like, thank you for this day. Um, I pray that whatever is happening will end soon, so on and so forth, like, the stuff that you would pray for. So, we're still holding hands, and I'm, I start to freak out at this point. So, when, I, when I'm, like, nervous or, like, scared or something, I will chatter my teeth, so I'll be like... <laughs> so, I had to bite down on my fingers so that I wouldn't chatter my teeth, because it's obviously not good for you, and so on. So I was just sitting there, like, crying, not trying to make noise, and this one kid, let's call him Reddick. So, Reddick, you know who you are, you watch my videos, and, um, yeah, Reddick, this is a little 
Word for you, okay? So Reddick is under a table, right? And the table has like a tablecloth. This is what he does. He lifts up the tablecloth and he yells, There's a school shooting! And puts the tablecloth down. Like, that's supposed to help. Thanks, Reddick. That really, really helps. I just, oh my god, it's so irritating because everyone was like, making jokes that we were gonna die where we possibly could have died thank god that we didn't but we could have and they're just like talking about literally anything and everything in the world like so what are you doing this weekend and like laughing and i'm like are you crazy so 10 minutes later felt like the longest 10 minutes of my life the secretary lady says okay guys everything's all clear you guys can get out now so like thank god so we get out of the classroom and uh yar and reddick are in trouble of course so the p teacher he like okay so we're all sitting down in the gym kind of like we're shook <laughs> we're like shook and woke <laughs> and all that stuff so he was just like talking to us and he's like, I'm very disappointed in you guys that you couldn't take this situation more serious. And I totally agreed with him because no one was taking it seriously. And here I am crying and my friends are like, can we take my to the bathroom? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we go upstairs and I just clean off my face and then Faith and Natalie, my friends, I hope you guys are watching this. Hi guys. So we're talking and they're like, what's wrong? And I'm like, that was really scary because we life is just kind of a thing that we take for granted. And the fact, it's going to say something really deep, but then the dogs have to start barking. So I'll wait. So the lesson is, um, life is just something that we kind of take for granted. And we're just, you know. Going on with our lives, just thinking about ourselves, where you don't know w which day could be your last. Saying, like, think about death all the time and know that it's coming. No, that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, like, just don't take your life for granted because you never know what day is going to be your last. Lesson was, you never know which day is going to be your last. <laughs> so, cherish your life because it is a gift. It is, it is, it is a gift. And if you're going through a hard time right now, just know that that's going to end. I mean, pain, pain is temporary. And just live your life to the fullest. And, you know, like I said, if you're going through a tough time right now, you're not going to be going through a tough time in 10 years. You'll probably be in a much better place in 10 years. So just hang in there. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment something nice, like, and subscribe. And, um, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. I'm almost at a thousand. Wah! I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I'm gonna put my social medias in the description box or the comments down below. So, if you wanna add me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, or follow me on Musical.ly, they'll all be down below. And, um... I, I don't have an Instagram, so let me know if I should get an Instagram. Okay. So peace, love, good vibes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! One more uh, thing. <laughs> Stay safe. Stay safe. Okay. Let's do the outro again. Peace, love, good vibes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!